to that concept, then we will reach the TRL 3. And once that uh, proof of concept is reached theoretically, if you do it uh, on laboratory demonstration, it will come for TRL 4. And 5 will be the lab scale validation. And instead of the actual product, if you have done it scaled model, then this is the TRL 5. And uh, actual demonstration will come under 6, TRL 6. And uh, finally, capability validation and uh, economic uh, uh, aspects will come under TRL 7. Usually, a startup will get a funding after TRL 6 to 7 only. So, 1 to 5 will be on development stage itself. And capability validation is TRL 8 and the cap uh, that is on full range. Oh, yeah, part by part will be at TRL 8 and the complete product with the long period, minimum of three, three years of validation has to be taken for TRL 9. So let us uh, see this TRLs one uh, in depth of what are the things involved in each one. So as of TRL 1 is concerned, it's initial scientific research beginning so uh, here we don't expect a big uh, things just we can explain with some examples including studies on basic materials and properties our principles our qualities based on the postulated and observed results and uh, here we will do some principle observation or the basic principle observation so just if you describe your product then that will be at a tier and then at this stage you will be focusing on fundamental understanding of material and the process involved so just you will say so these are all the things required just like writing the basic requirements what do we need what are the hardware required? What are the software required? Who are the uh, target audience? Like that, if you segregate, that will be coming at TRL 1. And TRL 2, here you will do some applied research. That means you will do some practical uh, things. So here, initial practical applications are identified. You will identify what are the initial practical things have to be done and the potential uh, materials and process already you have done the pro uh, understanding of materials from there you will identify the potentials and the, what is the need for technology what are the uh, technologies has to be involved if we have confirmed then this will come under TRL 2 and uh, usually here we will do some experimental work we will collaborate with other uh, researchers and we will do some experimental work here you can bring out some analytical results are in the pair from the form of papers you can do something that will come under trl2 and trl3 will explain the critical functions and proof of concept so here you will do that experimental analysis that will be verified part by part so if you have decided a product will do some functionalities you will be doing verifying the individual functions with experimental results at this stage here we will be using some modeling or simulation packages to complete the physical experimentations and uh, we will be doing a laboratory test also and uh, trl4 laboratory testing validation and alpha prototyping of components and process. So here we will be developing or designing the product, testing it in the lab, in a standard environment, not in a, a lab which is available in our colleges or something. We will be doing it in the standard testing laboratories. So we will be getting the test certification results and other things from this stage so at this stage we will be getting almost uh, finalizing the product's performance and uh, it should be uh, certified by the government testing agency see the panda it will be reaching the uh, testing 
variables. And uh, here, it will narrow down the possibility or options 